Why is this possibly the best indoor monitoring solution for Apple HomeKit? Let's dive into it on the next Mix of Tech. Hi guys, welcome to Mix Tech, where I view technology for the consumer prosumer, and I give my take on the things I see. With fall in the US for most states, that comes with lower humidity and lower temperatures, which can cause some health concerns, and not only just to your health, but also to the precious musical instruments that you might have in your house. For a number of years, I've used a standalone temperature and humidity sensor to manage the temperature and humidity levels in my office to protect my health and also to protect my musical gear. And this is done well, but it doesn't offer the smart home automation that I'm looking to achieve. In comes the Eve Room, which I've recently purchased and it's been out for a number of years. I plan to give an honest review based upon my experience that I've had with this product. I've been a big fan of e-products. They work great on Apple HomeKit and they're very reliable. So let's talk to what you get with the Eve Room version two. First, it costs $99 and offers temperature, humidity, and VOC, which is managing the air quality within your room. So you maybe ask yourself, what is VOC? It's volatile organic compounds, which could be solids and liquids that emit gas that are not great for your health. And so it's awesome to be able to track something like this with this product. This device comes with an e-ink 200 by 200 pixel display that can be adjusted by a simple touch of the arrows on the left and right of the device, which are almost hidden on the device. It has a built-in rechargeable battery, which will get you about six weeks of charge. And it comes with a micro USB cable to charge the device. The accuracy on these sensors is really good. You typically will get plus or minus 0.3 degrees Celsius or plus or minus 0.54 degrees Fahrenheit. And you typically will get plus or minus 3% in humidity. Let's dive into the pros and the cons of this Eve room. Starting with the pros, the first is the sensors. They are amazingly accurate. My baseline for the accuracy of these sensors is based upon my standalone Therm Pro, which I got a number of years ago off of Amazon after amazing reviews. And I've found that it's very close in both the humidity and the temperature. While I have another product that works with Apple HomeKit that's a little bit off. So, Based upon the baseline that I have, this seems very accurate. The second pro to the Eve Room is the Eve app. Now, you don't need to have Eve products to take advantage of the Eve app. It's actually a great app if you're just looking at your Apple HomeKit and using your Thread devices because you can see what's on your network based upon the app. Now, the app does take advantage of this product, and one of the things it can do is build automation. So you can set rules and leverage scenes. So in my use case to where I want to control my office and the humidity level, I can be able to set an automation that if it gets below 40% humidity, I can turn on my smart plug, which will turn on my humidifier. That's one of the cool things that you can do with the Eve app. The other thing that you can do is track the humidity, temperature, and the VOCs through the app. So you can see where there's some historical trends based upon things that you're doing within your house and make some changes or add automation. And the last pro is just the clean design. This has a minimalist look, but it looks very modern for technology or your decor in your house. So let's talk to the cons. And the first one to get out of the way is gonna be the cost. This is a high cost at $99. And if you wanna use this across your house, that adds up. Now you pay for what you get. You get a reliable sensor that offers automation. The second con to this is that it's not thread enabled. Now it works with Bluetooth, which is great for the use case that you have here where you don't need to have active monitoring, but you do need to have monitoring periodically. Thread is great and Eve has that through a number of products, but for this, I think it's reasonable to just have Bluetooth. And the last con is there's limited automations in Apple HomeKit, which you can't put on Eve, but I do wish that in HomeKit, you could be able to leverage automations based upon not just the VO sensor, but the temperature and humidity. If you look at Apple HomeKit, all you can do is set up automations based upon the VOC sensor. So you can't set up your lights to go off on a certain color if the VOC hits a certain level. But it would be great if it could offer humidity and temperature controls so you could do all kinds of other automations in Apple HomeKit. But the good news is Eve app has that automation. So if you're looking to do that, you can do that with the Eve app. So what are my final thoughts on the Eve Room? Well, it's one of the best Apple HomeKit indoor monitoring solutions out there. You can manage your temperature, you can manage your humidity and your VOCs through this device and it's accurate and reliable. Now I know that everybody's probably wanting this to be thread enabled so they can add to your thread network. Hopefully that's coming in the near future or they could be at a lower cost. And I have tried some other Apple HomeKit indoor monitoring solutions and I just haven't found them to be re as reliable or as accurate as this Eve Room. 
So this is my go-to Apple HomeKit indoor monitoring solution, at least for the foreseeable future until any other competition or Eve comes out with a new version. Hope you liked this video. And if you have, make sure to hit the like button. If you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe to this channel for more great content like this. Thanks for joining a mix of tech.